So, Titanfall community, where the hell do we go from here? It has been a crazy 24 hours. If you guys have no idea what has been going on in the past 24 hours when it comes to the Titanfall franchise, finally getting another response from Respawn. My god, man, you have to pry to get some type of communication from that company about uh, the game franchise they started their, you know, company on. Um, but yeah, it's been a crazy 24 hours. We're going to talk about some of the stuff because go figure. I make one Titanfall video about jokingly DLC DDoS fixes and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> and then apparently you have rumors of people getting affected, having to delete Titanfall off their, off their console, which at this point, I don't know who you believe. I don't care at this point. It's just dumb. It really is. The Titanfall community is being thrown around left and right, and there's just no care. There's no care. We are left at our own devices. I think there's people in this community that uh, have some malice intent uh, on their mind, but at the, also the same point, we are not getting any clear communication whatsoever with Respawn about what is actually happening when it comes to the fixes for Titanfall to where players, no matter what time of day they log in, are actually getting able to play their game and not having to worry about servers getting lagged out, lagged out of games, getting their games crashed and whatnot. Um, and I think that's the one thing that at least for players like myself, Iniquity and others out there going, what is it going to take to get more than maybe two or three developers that are working on this fix for Titanfall to actually get some, get, just get some TLC, man. Dude, just get some people out here saying, you know what? Titanfall community, we are not forgetting about you. We know that we said ASAP several months ago for a fix. We know that you guys are still dealing with DDoS attacks, but still, <laughs> still not getting any communication whatsoever from Respawn until apparently this rumor came out yesterday in the past 24 hours about uh, hackers finding a, a way to be able to uh, get, you know, use the files within Titanfall uh, 2. Uh, and, and using the striker, um, the, the strider admin panel, the admin servers for Titanfall 2 to get, be able to actually hack into your own computer, which to me, it, it seems a little far-fetched. Uh, we are going off a rumor apparently from, from uh, Discord, which at this point, Discord and, and the Titanfall thing, I, I don't, I don't, what can you possibly believe at this point from Discord when it comes to the accusations that were thrown back, back and forth about who the hacker is, people being involved in the hack, uh, that, that were doing the accusations. At this point, the Titanfall community is in shambles. Um, and I think a little bit of that to blame is, is not only with the kind with the, with the community members that were, uh, trying to sling mud back and forth, the hackers as well. Um, but then also too with Respawn when it comes to just the lack of dialogue or the, act, the lack of giving a damn about a franchise that you created with the continuation into Apex Legends. So if you guys don't know exactly what I'm talking about, so this came out yesterday, less than 24 hours. Uh, it came out at 2 o'clock p.m. yesterday. And it was saying, urgent, urgent, you know, you have to, you have to uninstall the game, uninstall Titanfall 2, because currently right now it's considered compromised. Do not launch it. These are reported bugs in the game that allow local code executions from the server. Assuming hackers have control of the Strider admin panel for Titanfall 2 and Apex Legends, they could leave both your computer and your console vulnerable to exploits by launching the game. All platforms are affected. They expect that they, they could do, um, it's still unknown, but it's, uh, you, where, um, pinging it everyone big because running the game as of now is serve um is a severe security risk so you saw people out here getting on twitter and even including myself going what the hell is going on like at this point i have no idea what's going on i have no idea what is happening within the titanfall community i i figured you know just kind of talking with my last video i get on twitter type in titanfall on my search engine and just kind of see what exactly what the community is talking about and i get this pop-up about what the titanfall community is is talking about and going through and it, it leaves a lot of people in shambles of going, okay, we need to panic. We need to, it, it, there's a panic going on, delete the, and this is the stupid thing is that, you know, everybody kind of believes everything at face value. And that, again, that's one of the things, at least for my downfall as well, when it comes to covering, you know, over the hacking and stuff like that, of uh, believing everything face value when it comes to the accusations of the, who the hacking was and whatnot. So you had a lot of people coming out saying, delete, delete the game, uninstall the game. 
get it off your console whatnot um and, and multiple sources i mean you had a, a lot of people retweeting it um you even had the save titanfall.com or the save titanfall um a twitter account saying i received notifications uh of ace vulnerabilities to actively being exploited on titanfall 2 if you are in the multiplayer menu lobby you are vulnerable to attackers being able to run programs on your computer without consent do not open or do not play the game until respawn response pc and console again this is more stuff that was getting passed around yesterday of Again, we, we had no idea what the hell that was going on. We have no idea what, what this, uh, you know, exploit was, people pushing it out, including myself, even retweeting of just going, what the hell is this? What's going on? What is happening to the Titanfall game? Uh, of just me not knowing what's going on and hoping to get a little bit more clarification. Well, Respawn actually did clarify this yesterday with an actual response where, of saying... We are aware of reports of security vulnerabilities affecting Titanfall 2 and are investigating. We have no other information to share at the moment, but we'll update you once we do. Now, this ad was actually building up a lot of momentum on Twitter, where Respawn, as well as even Titanfall 2, was trending on Twitter, which does not happen very often. Like, let's, let's be honest with that. Titanfall 2, Titanfall in general, and Respawn do not trend very much on Twitter, unless it's like maybe Apex Legends that might be trending for um, some new gameplay, some new uh, you know, DLC or whatever, new some new season that they'll be uh, trending for a little bit on, on Twitter but this was something for the Titanfall franchise that was trending again because it was getting a lot of traction and whatnot but it took this much it took this much effort to try to get some type of response from Respawn about uh this possible uh, vulnerability with the servers and people being able to get into consoles and PCs uh through some exploit um but again th this was getting reposted getting them trending getting everything trending from Titanfall to Respawn and it, it finally got a response from from Respawn about this unknown exploit that people had no idea what was going on but for some reason when it comes to the DDoSing thing we have still yet to get a response uh, several months now into the known issue of it being it being happening on, on consoles and PCs uh, when affecting DDoSing and, and, and the servers and lagging out and everything. So, again, we even got another update even, even after that saying, uh, an update, we are still investigating this issue, but our engineers believe that we're dealing with a simple exploit that can be used to crash games. We do not believe there are any more serious risks to affect players or their machines. We'll be updating you again later for the more uh, we'll learn. Uh, sorry, we'll be updating again as we learn more. Well, again, you got this information. You get you got this uh, in info from Respawn saying, "Hey, we're looking into this exploit because we're trending. People are tweeting it out. People are you know saying this and that. Uh, people are unsure of exactly what's going on, including myself. I have no idea. I just trying to I I just retweet uh, you know something out saying what the hell is going on with this. But we finally got a response from Respawn saying we're looking into it." <laughs> Which it seems like a pattern for them. We're looking into it. We'll get back to you later on. Which, again, we're sitting here with a DDoS thing of exactly no, not knowing exactly where they kind of sit at with that. Well, um, we did get a response from Twitter. We get sorry, we get a get, we did get a response from Respawn about exactly what's happening with their investigation into the exploit and quotations about um, what people could do with PC and 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 and, and console when it comes to server connectivity and whatnot and being able to uh crash their you know crash their games and whatnot well um my boy iniquity <laughs> god love him i love him so much um <laughs> comes out with a tweet after respawn's tweet goes okay cool 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 cool, cool which is i know a reference from nine five um or nine nine sorry nine nine um which is a cop uh cop uh comedy show but anyway he goes now that i've got your attention here i got you here uh what about the other things you know the game being ddos since march thing you know don't tell me we have to get you trending again to warn a reply dude bravo bravo Derek inequity i you know what couldn't have said it best man it took so much to get a response out of respawn about a possible in quotations exploit on pc and console where it could crash consoles or people were pushing out the exploit or saying that it, it this exploit could um you know, you know affect your console or affect your pc depending on you know where you uh you know have the game at it took them that long to hey you know what we're immediately having a response we're trending titanfall's trending response trending we're gonna go ahead and put out some some message and get a response on twitter right away well we are still sitting months, months since the DDoSing has been affecting the servers on Titanfall where players have no idea if they can jump on daytime, jump on nighttime, jump on any server whatsoever and know that they can have a good quality game without getting lagged out of the server. 
it, we are still dealing with that issue. And even my boy Iniquity is saying, you know what? It's great that we got a response out of this possible exploit that, that people were trying to bring up. Um, but you still are not addressing. There's still no effort whatsoever being put into this DDoSing that's still affecting the Titanfall servers still. I mean, it, it, we've been dealing with it with several months now, but still we're not getting any information, new information whatsoever about what the what the efforts look like when it comes to actually fixing this exploit, you know, with the servers and whatnot for Titanfall. Does it take another, does it take you trending to actually get any information whatsoever? That's what Iniquity, that's what Iniquity is saying. It's like, do we have to get you trending to get another response about what's happening with DDoS? It's unclear at this point. I, I don't know. I think right now at this point, the Titanfall franchise has been forgotten and I don't really think Respawn gives a damn about it whatsoever. Unless they're trending, they might say something. Uh, but at this point, I think I think with everything that's happening with the Titanfall franchise, I don't think a care has been given whatsoever to the fight Titanfall franchise. And I think as the Titanfall community, when it comes to these messages saying, you know, oh, possible exploit, and this happening all, on the on the in Discord servers when it comes to uh, Titanfall content and stuff like that, it, it, it's just... We are shooting ourselves in the foot as a community. We really are. We are shooting ourselves in the foot with some of the BS that's coming out of some of the things that are happening with misinformation or not understanding exactly what's going on. And then just the kind of trickle down effect, the snowball effect of it getting bigger and bigger and bigger and exactly what is happening with it. Nobody knows. I'm at this point right now where I, I don't even look to Discord anymore for information. I don't even look at, I take everything at, on Twitter now at, at, at not face value. And I just kind of go, on, I, I, I'll retweet something going, you know, what is this? What's going on? Just to get somebody's attention saying, you know what? Maybe this is what's happening. Maybe somebody out there has some more information about, you know, something that's happening on Twitter or Discord. But at this point, Titanfall community, you are doing more harm to yourself at this point right now. And I don't think Respawn is going to be taking any of us seriously or the Titanfall franchise seriously at all because of the damage that we're doing to ourselves. So, past 24 hours have been crazy. I don't know what the next 24 hours is going to be <laughs> at this point. But, uh, yeah, man, it, it's just it's just getting ridiculous. So, uh, I did not think I would be uh, talking about Titanfall again so soon after making my last video from uh, a couple of days ago. But here we are. At the Titanfall community, the Titanfall franchise, shooting ourselves in the foot. But hey, you know what? We did get a response from Respawn. Maybe, hopefully, one of these days we'll get a response exactly where they sit at when it comes to the DDoSing servers on Titanfall 2 and people not able to play the their multiplayer game that, they're, again, they're still selling. So, anyway, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about the past 24 hours when it comes to the BS? I'm just going to say it. Let me know. What do you think about the BS that's been happening in the past 24 hours when it comes to the Titanfall community? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please have a great rest of the day. Look forward to talking to you guys all next time.